Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. How you doing today? Well, today we're going to do something in one of my favorite, absolute favorite, old, new cooking techniques. And that is the slow cooker. We're going to use it. This one, I got to tell you a quick story before we get into this. This one, I went to a local store around here in Texas. And it was listed for $19.99. And they had a special for $10 off manufacturer's coupon. So that by the time it was said and done, I paid $9 for a four quart slow cooker. There is no reason on this earth for you not to go out and buy a slow cooker. You can always find deals like this. I just happen to look out. This one's a beautiful, nice stainless steel. It's got a nice heavy crock inside, and it's going to work perfect for what we're going to do today. <clears throat> I'm going to make um, some slow cooked beans. Again, we're in Texas, beans, pinto beans, huge, huge, absolutely huge thing out here. But every single place I've gone so far, it seems like they're all very bland and mild and blue. I, it's not what I'm, uh, I'm expecting from Texas. I want spice, I want life, I want something exuberant. So we're going to make some exuberant beans here. And we're going to start by taking about four or five cloves of garlic that I have previously taken the skin off of. And I'm just going to crush them. And after I'm done crushing them, I'm going to throw a light mince on them. And I'm going to throw them in the slow cooker. I'm going to put a little olive oil inside the slow cooker first. Now, what's really good about these slow cookers is, again, I'm working with what the equipment I have, which isn't very much. I got to watch myself so I don't cut my finger off. Um, there, yeah, those are done. Let's do some onions. About an onion. For, for this size, I'm going to put about an onion. One onion. Oh, I really need to get my knives here. <laughs> or something. This is pathetic. But, I'm just putting a medium dice on these onions. What's, um, what I've found, I don't know, it's, it's just, I don't know if it's uh, a locality thing, but the beans that I've sampled at two or three other places since I've been here were, um, were just very mild. It seems like the beans were just the bean juice. No, uh, no real flavor. It didn't pack a punch to me. Now, I like back, what, back east, when a barbecue joint decides to make beans, they make them with a lot of flavor. And we're going to kind of replicate that method here today. Okay, without cutting my fingers off, we've managed to dice an onion this skinny little knife and chop up some garlic. I'm going to put in some olive oil and I'm going to throw these in. If you can't, uh, if you, if you don't want to waste or spend the time to soak raw beans overnight. It's very big here. You can get pinto beans for 68 cents a pound. I don't have that kind of time. So I bought pinto beans. I also bought some black beans and some fire roasted tomatoes. And they're gonna be our base 
this dish, which I'm bringing to the potluck tomorrow. There's nothing wrong with cans. Cans cuts out a lot of time. Uh, the quality nowadays is, is spectacular. This one I'm going to put in just like this. Since they're partial to pinto beans here. This is pinto beans. Normally I would make this dish with black beans, dark red kidney beans, and light red kidney beans. But since I'm here, I'm going to do black beans and pinto beans. You, some people like to rinse the, the juice that the, the beans have been sitting in the can with. You can do that. I don't see any, uh, I, I seem to think it adds a lot of flavor and a lot of uh, body to the, to the sauce later on. And we're gonna put them in there. And we're gonna put a can of fire roasted red tomatoes. Which are gonna give this sauce a nice red color a little bit. I make another dish called freshwada, which is a Brazilian bean and meat dish that is like their national dish. And in that dish, you don't use any tomatoes. Now, first we're going to get into the secret weapon for this one, and then we'll get into the seasonings. You're going to take a smoked ham hock. You want someone to think that you spent all day laboring over the stove, throw something in that's been smoked. It just imparts such a, a loving flavor into things. I'm going to take this whole ham hock, nestle it deep inside there. If you wanted to put uh, any other kind of meats in here, chicken, uh, ribs, uh, beef, anything, throw it right in there, let it slow cook. Oh my God, it's going to come out fantastic. Uh, now we're going to get to the spices. We have an array. Since um, I'm making a, a take on a a Western dish, I'm going to throw in some dried chilies. These are Mexican dried chilies. This one's not too, too hot, uh, but it's got a nice consistency. I'm going to put it in whole. It's going to seep in there. It's going to get its flavor all around in there. We're going to throw in about a tablespoon of black pepper about a tablespoon of oregano, about a tablespoon of my favorite for these kind of dishes, cumin, and we're going to stick in a couple of bay leaves. Here's, oh, my, oh my goodness, here's two huge nice size bay leaves we're going to throw in there. Now, I'm going to mix that all together. I'm going to put the cover on the slow cooker. I'm going to put this one on high because I'm here and around. But normally, if I was going to go to work, I would throw this on low. Low for anything over six hours and high for anything under six hours. I'm just mixing those beans together. You notice we didn't put any salt. The uh, ham hock has a lot of salt in it. 
for some reason. It has a salty taste. And whenever you slow cook something like this, the salt seems to concentrate. So one of the last things we're going to do is we're going to salt this later on, towards the tail end. So now we're going to put our cover on. Like I said, this is brand new. I just took it out of the box. I wash it, of course, before it's first use. And but we're going to plug it in back here. And I'm going to put it on low. Well, actually, I'm going to put it on high because I'm here. There it is, on high, all prepared. We're going to come back in four or five hours, and that dish is going to be absolutely spectacular. We're going to maybe adjust the seasoning if we have to. Um, but usually it, it doesn't take that much adjusting. And it'll seem like you spent all day trying to cook these, uh, make these beans. I'm going to do fresh water, which is the, the Brazilian dish, like I said, their national dish. But not this time. This is more of like a Western style beans. So, take care. We'll be back in probably about three or four hours. One quick thing I forgot. If this was going to be the Brazilian dish where you weren't going to add the, uh, the fire roasted tomatoes, which is extra liquid and things like that, then you would probably add a can or a can full of water into there. No tomatoes. Uh, as it looks now, there's plenty of liquid in there. so. It's going to have the liquid it needs to, to reduce and condense and be more flavorful. If it didn't, don't be shy. Cover all those beans and all that meat with a can of water. I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, folks. About six hours has passed. Our, uh, our beans are... We've been smelling up the house. <laughs> amazing. Um, they're most likely ready. Let's get them. I'm going to bring the crock pot over here so you can see. Oh my goodness, the aroma that's coming off of these beans is absolutely amazing. You can serve these by themselves, uh, a little bit of cornbread or regular bread, or you can serve them as a side dish. They're perfect to take along to any barbecue. People will absolutely love you for it. Um, look at that dried chili. It's just like become part of the sauce. The, um, the ham hock is completely disintegrated. I'm gonna just break it up so that the meat gets into the into the beans. And we're just gonna take some of them and put them in here and bowl for a second. I'm gonna let you take a look. Hang on one second. There's our beans with our ham hock, our smoked ham hock. Absolutely delicious. I'm just going to give them a little, little taste here. <laughs> Spices, the ham hock, the smoked flavor. We didn't need to need any salt in this, trust me, because the salt that was in that ham hock somehow or another just permeated the entire dish. If you want, you put a little more salt. I mean, it's no big deal. 
but there you go. These are beans that are worthy to have as a side. They're worthy to have as a meal or to take to your favorite, uh, your barbecue that you're gonna go to. People absolutely love you for bringing it. So, we're gonna get on to something else. Come back, maybe we'll teach you something new. Thank you very much.